Hello and welcome my beautiful Sagittarius. Here is the extended reading for the week of February the 13th to the 19th. And as you know, we have finance, career, we have romance and relationship, and we have an outcome card and what you need to focus on this particular week. So on that note, let's not waste any time. Let's see what we have here when it comes to finance, money, career, your job, your business, uh, any possible money coming into you. Thank you. Let's see what we have here. That's what they've given you. Okay, so right off the bat, this came up for someone else too, the nugget. You've got the hand as well. You're in the process, I think, of manifesting something here in your life. And you're reaching out to reach your goals. Um, the work and effort that you're applying to, some, to something in your job or your career, or even advocating and promoting and defending yourself for, if it's a, a legal issue, know that you will get financial assistance in that in that uh, situation around you. Some of you may be actually gifted and you work with your hands. You might have a hands-on work that requires you to create something beautiful and you have this ability to do that. Um, I think you're also going to be getting help getting a job. You might be uh, working with a job recruiter. You might be uh, involving yourself and and hooking yourself up with the right contacts where there will be others that can step forward and say, hey, I heard about this job posting or hey, um, would you be interested in that? So I do think that you're going to get a hand out and a hand up. You're going to have that extending hand coming out towards you to give you some relief, but also some beautiful assistance when it comes to your job. You've been manifesting something here, my beautiful Sagittarius, uh, but also physically and emotionally working on something. Now, when we manifest, it's spiritual. So that is a biggie here for you. So keep manifesting what you want, believing that you've got it. And that's throwing out all that powerful positive energy into the universe so that it comes back tenfold to you. The nugget shows up. You got a gift here. It may be small, albeit, because nuggets are tiny, but they still are gold. And there may be a small increase here coming towards you. Perhaps you're getting a little bit of a bonus. Perhaps you're getting a raise. Perhaps this month has been more lucrative and you're seeing more profit within your job and your career or even your business if you're self-employed. I think you've taken an honest assessment of what it is you want, and now you're going for it. This is a fresh start for some of you, going after your goals and what it is you want, and maybe making those changes therein to apply that energy to make those changes come into you. It's going to be steady work, okay? I think you're career building right now. You're making these changes to look towards your future with promise, vision and success. Keep working on that because that's the only way that we do get success by applying our due diligence, being determined, but also being consistent. Uh, we can't get lazy. We have to keep moving forward towards our goals. Set up a system for yourself, my beautiful Sagittarius, and watch how things start to fall in line. So very interesting cards. I think you're going to be getting help. You're getting assistance, uh, you know, to move you forward here. And um, I think you're going to see that your career is going to start building up. Now let's see what we have here for partnerships, uh, you know, relationships, romance, same sex, uh, playmate, love mate, life mate, um, soul mate, twin flame, or partnerships in other ways. So let's see what we have here. Oops. Okay, we'll take it. All righty. Oh, I love it. Okay, so first of all, it, you know, you got it's safe for you to love, but you also got engagement, which is commitment. So this commitment, um, it's safe for you to go out there again and open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And of course, we know that that is love. Uh, and it can be love. You know, you might not want to be intimate with someone. This might just be a bonding with someone. This might just be a friendship and taking a, a friendship to the next level, a best friend, that soulmate in your life, your BFF. So this could be that as well. But I'm looking at it in another way for those of you who are wanting to go out there and spread your wings and be open and transparent and intimate with someone and to find that love that you so deserve. It, it's it's a time for you to do it now. Maybe you've had to get over some issues. Maybe it hasn't been the right timing. Timing's everything. We know that in anything that we do in our life. And maybe the universe is now placing you on that path saying, hey, it's your time. 
get out there go after what it is you want don't be afraid you now deserve to get that love that you have always yearned for and wished for you've got engagement we know that that's a commitment your love life might be ascending to a higher level of commitment maybe your partner that you're with or your boyfriend or your girlfriend whoever you're with has said hey let's get together let's move in together let's share our lives together whether you actually commit uh, to uh, uh, to get married you definitely are wanting to be exclusive so someone may be stepping forward and saying hey I only want you in my life why don't we just reach out and be there for each other let's be exclusive let's just spend every minute with each other and you know and move towards a promising future together this is you know definitely commitment uh, and partnership here coming in know that you're in a safe place that you know when you get it safe for you to love know that this individual here is going to be there for you and you're going to be there for them so it's beautiful for some of you so I do think a commitment's coming in hey maybe somebody is going maybe some of you are going to get engaged on on valentine's day it's such a big day of love so maybe this week will be the week that you get that commitment from the person that you care for the most so i like it it's beautiful now what do you need to what is the outcome here what do you need to surrender to what do you need to visualize the change that's coming into you and to accept that or how to deal with it um, you know what do you need to uh commit to and change well, well we have two here so we'll take them all right, so you've got surrender to setting limits, okay? Um, and you've got surrender to frustration. So uh, let's start off with the setting limits, okay? It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So we don't have to mold ourselves to please somebody. Uh, we don't become that Frankenstein uh, that someone wants to create and make us into or mold us into. You're an individual here and you have that right to set up boundaries and say, hey, I'm standing for my up for my convictions and, and I'm not backing down and this is who I am and I'm being transparent and I'm being that open book. So it's healthy to set up boundaries and say, hey, um, I can't see you today or I can't get involved in that or I can't do this at this time and know that it's all right you have that right to to, to set up boundaries here and practice ex expressing your needs and what it is that's important to you as well. Don't be a people pleaser. We can't always please everybody at the same time okay we can't be everywhere at every time so know that. So it's okay to set up limits, even if it's with your best friend or it's with your partner. It's a matter of you matter too. Surrender to frustration. Maybe that's what's getting you down. Maybe you're feeling as though you're being pushed and pulled in too many different directions or someone wants to uh, to prioritize themselves and make you always the one to have to do the work. You're not the beast of burden, okay? Frustration doesn't open any doors though. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so that you may approach the situation more calmly so basically don't get yourself all stressed out don't jump in there with the roar of the lion act and regret in the heat of the moment this is about just breathing in and breathing out taking that time to just step back from the chaos okay step back from the frustration step back from those things that are limiting you and just let it go let go my friends and let god okay now Let's see what we have here for focusing. What do you need to focus on this week? What is your main focus here? What is your main focus here? Let's see what we have here. Spirit. Oops, they turned it over. Okay, in my hand. I, as soon as I said spirit, did you see that card flip over? Okay. So opportunity is definitely coming your way. I think this could be, uh, you know, maybe it's a new love for some of you. It's safe for you to go out there. For others, I think you're seeing this great opportunity of a bonding, of a, of a partnership, of getting together with someone on a very good soul level and an emotional level. That could be the opportunity that you're walking into. Also, the opportunity of realizing you matter and setting up borders and boundaries that, you know, you don't have to feel frustrated anymore because you're going to express your needs in a very honest way articulate and accurate way opportunity could be knocking here because i said you were getting a hand up somebody may be stepping forward a contact or a job offer that's coming in something new here where you're going to be able to build on that 
Well, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius, this is your extended reading for the week of February the 13th. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And always remember, I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon.